Hold on. I literally need to think about this. Who who had sex? Kumal Nanjiani and no, Angelina didn't. Jolie. No, they didn't. <laughs> so who had the sex scene? That's and that leads to our next movie, which makes no sense. Marvel's Eternals. I don't understand how this is still a thing. The audience has finally turned on Marvel, which we did a story on it, which we are not going to link right up here. Nope. It's down to 47%. Earlier today, it was at 48%. And I, when I did my video on it, it was 49%, I think. The audience score has it at 80%, which is confounding to me. As someone who did not watch this movie, it clearly doesn't make sense. On no planet does it make sense to have 10 main characters. There's a lot of main characters. There's too many main characters. C critic consensus. So I said, do critics have it at 47? Yep. Audience, 80, right? Critic consensus. An ambitious superhero epic that soars as often as it strains. Eternals takes the MCU in intriguing and occasionally confounding new directions. Audience says, it's a different kind of Marvel movie. But Eternals still contains all the action, humor, and heart that fans are looking for. That is not a of an eighty percent rave it's review. Not, yeah, that is nothing. Are we? I don't know that we should spoil this, even though we have. You, you shouldn't see it. Some people did see it. Right now, it made seventy-one million, which is pretty good. And it's a week after it's got released. This would have been better on Disney Plus. Yes. Oh, absolutely. As a show. Yes. Because they could have introduced slowly these 10 different characters. 80% of the movie was like, oh, let's go pick up each character and see what they're doing. Uh -huh. That's it. And the from what I understand, well, it's also not been released in China because of Chloe Zhao. How is the direction? I don't even know. Would you be like, this is a good director? No, absolutely not. No. It does have the Marvel Universe MCU's first sex scene. How is that? There was a sex scene in this yes, movie? Yes, there was Marvel's first sex scene. Hold on. I literally need to think about this. Who, who had sex? Kumal Nanjiani and no, Angelina didn't. Jolie. No, they didn't. <laughs> so who had the sex scene? I know who had the sex scene. No, seriously. I don't remember a sex scene. Richard Madden and Gemma Chan. On the beach. They, oh! In the nude. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah, no yeah, titties. Yeah, yeah. So it's not sex. <laughs> what was there? Just darkness? They were just like on top of each other and like breathing heavily. Mm. Richard Madden was screaming. Like, eh. He's like, oh, He's like yeah, dropping me. loads. Oh, me did he say dropping loads? He did drop loads. Mm -hmm. He dropped all of his Game of Thrones loads. In and Game this Channel. movie was two hours and 37 minutes. Fucking way too long. And as I have been told numerous times, two hours and 37 minutes of hell for you. It was bad. It First off, the people sitting next to me need to be eradicated off this planet. You should dox them. Fuck, if I had a gun, I would shoot them in the head. You probably shouldn't say that in case you end up like Kyle Rittenhouse. No, he's a hero. Um, <laughs> what the, do you even know where he's from? He's from Flint, Michigan. He is not? Where the water Did he drink bad. all that bad water? He did. Oh, okay. Because Obama gave it to him. Wow. Obama did give it to him. Yeah. And then, did, what did Obama do that you always think is funny? Uh... <laughs> Remember? Wait, fake, what do I? What? Remember? He drank the... He's like, I want Oh, that. yeah, that's right. He fake sipped the water like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's outrage. That's an outrage. Yeah. Uh, okay. So back to this movie. <laughs> Seriously, this movie sucks. Okay. What else did I have to ask you about? It? How was um? So Kit Harrington is supposed to be somebody important. But he's in the beginning and then disappears useless. and then he's in the very end. Now I remember what the final scene was. It was Kit Harrington. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Not too much spoilers. Yeah. And I have heard. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else can I say about it without being I did hear, and I could be wrong, that the producer says that there is no, they're not going to do any sequels to this, that it's probably in its own universe. Isn't this like a total, um, like, from what I understand, what happens in this movie is so ground earth shattering for humans that they couldn't ignore it. That they'd be like, oh my, like humans could no longer, obviously they went through the Thanos thing and all, all, the, all the other stuff, but this is like 
full bore like what do we do? we're like so insignificant it's ridiculous uh that's what i heard kinda In, yeah towards i think it's something that happens at the, the end, end yeah, yeah like something happens where you're just like that kind of changes everything but, but they also, won't address it i guess not you'll have to watch what happens i don't know what the timeline is like does this happen before Spider-Man uh, Homecoming? Or well, Homecoming? I know it does include the Thanos snap, so it happens. It does. Happen. That's what I was like. It definitely happens in the same universe. They mention the Thanos they snap. They do. Which also, actually makes no sense because there's, from what I understand, there is uh, many, many, many plot holes. There's, I don't even remember the plot, so. Why would I not show to a game that uh, Doc and, and Ron Cold are talking about showing up for games that I will not be participating in, so. Why are we talking to me about these things? I don't know. I don't know. Go, wa go, go watch Eternals. Go watch Eternals. And then also register to win Kumail, the, the Suicide Squad. Kum Kumail Nanjiani spent a year getting jacked. And what do they do? Not have him without a Not shirt. Not have him without a shirt. That guy must be salty as F. Who is the who's the bad guy? A white guy. Who would have figured? Who would have figured? Oh my gosh! Shocking. They're, That's good. That, that gives away too much. Don't tell them which white guy. Yeah, there's, there's several. There's really not that many. There's a couple. There's more non-white people than white people. Yes, and uh, without, I guess we could say that. Uh, Why is Salma Hayek in this movie? No reason. Why does Angelina Jolie have dementia? No reason. Why? Is, I'm still hung up on Kumal Nanjiani getting jacked and then not actually. And then finger blasting everybody. He, why does he finger blast? He's a finger blaster. Were their superpowers stupid? Oh my god, yeah, they're fucking useless. Mm -hmm. There was like two people. First off, the one dude who was Superman, basically, Richard Madden as Icarus. He like a bitch Superman. He only has one power. Each of these Eternals who are supposed to be like super powerful, made by Celestials, who are like basically God, all have powers. But why, why not just make everyone have the same powers? They're pretty fucking weak. Why not just make them all Superman? I'm pretty sure the Avengers could fucking destroy the Eternals. Like, they're pretty fucking shitty. I feel like, and they did have like a handicapable one of them, right? Which one? Wasn't there one that was deaf? Oh, there was one was deaf. Why would you make a, a demigod that was deaf? Yeah, that's dumb as shit. That doesn't make a lot of she sense. She is literally, that, the, that character, because she's in The Walking Dead. She's deaf in real life. Oh, she is? Okay. Yeah, so that, like, I, I respect that, but, like, yeah. why make that character deaf? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you, why would a god make a character deaf? Oh, then they were saying something about, uh, she uses human, she uses, like, English sign language back when there was no sign language. At least she didn't use the Atreides battle language. Yeah, the whole timeline of how they existed for five, so stupid. Like, just dumb. This movie, dumb. From what I understand, there are so many plot holes that it's almost incoherent. I checked it, out of this movie like 10 minutes in. Is it the worst Marvel movie? Uh, is it worse than Black Widow? Because for me, I think that's the worst one. Black Widow. Then Thor 2? Thor 2 is fun. There are fun elements. Remember the part in Thor 2? I have to watch two? Thor 2 again. Here's, here's what's fun about Thor 2. First of all, Stellan Skarsgård runs around naked. That is fun to me. You don't think that's fun? Yeah, that's fun. Okay, what about following Meow Meow, flying around in different universes and like knocking through things? I thought that was fun too. Uh, okay. So there's like a fun fight scene at the end. It's not just like a CGI like crap show. It's like, oh, look, it was something different. They were trying to do the big CGI ending, but they did something slightly different. I also like the whole like weird thing with the kids and the gravity and like all the worlds were kind of like laying on top of each other. I thought that was fun. See, now the only difference is I watched Black Widow and I was like, oh, this this movie's kind of good. I watched this movie the first time. Black was Widow like, was terrible. Hold on now. I watched this movie the first time. I was like, this movie blows Donkey Dick. I watched Black Widow a second time. Like, wow, this movie sucks. Yeah, the second time I saw it, I was like, this is almost unwatchable. Then I, I don't know if I'm willing to watch this movie a second time, though. Hmm. So I, it's, it's one of the the bottom two is it worse than falcon and the winter soldier uh, mm. yeah. that was kind of confusing like sometimes i liked it and sometimes i didn't yeah this movie i just didn't like so okay. yeah it's worse yeah that so that's what's confusing because everybody says it's like the most diverse and not that there's something it's wrong diverse with for no fucking reason yeah like none of it is purposeful it's stupid 
Yeah. Why? Does and they this took movie... a director who was directing like small budget indie films and stuck her in a movie that she was not prepared to direct. Like if you if you watch the movie, you'd be like, the entire MCU is pointless because of this movie. Like just every, like Kang, everything Conqueror. is meaningless. Yeah, I forget what happened with Kang. Kang but... did every did. That's the other point is if you're trying to make all of this make sense, then Kang made it so that like, so Thanos gets rid of fifty percent of the population, but then. There's a whole thing on this where they needed more than 50% of the population, but then Kang made it all happen anyway. Like, none of that makes you... It's dumb. Yeah, they're you trying to no retrograde longer, everything. Yeah, they're trying to retrograde you're, everything You're in. destroying the MCU by just keeping and adding different things. I did hear there are some cool ideas and cool, interesting things about this. Like, uh, the character of Sprite was good, was what I've heard. No. You don't think the idea that someone is trapped, first of all, why a god would make someone trapped as a child for their entire lives. Yep. But the fact that she's trapped as a child for like 7,000 years, but has the mentality of an adult. I think that's an interesting the like theological. It's interesting, and, sure. It doesn't make any sense. Well, they, they could have explored it and they did not. They did not explore anything. Yes. Just like they could have explored some of the morality in it where like, what's the purpose of the Eternals versus the Deviants? And they did not do any of that. They did not. They also did not explore the comic book origins. Well, the other thing too is uh, Jack Kirby. They did not do, they, they decided not to do a tribute to Jack Kirby. Where a lot of people say that Thor Ragnarok is a um, kind of tribute, like in the weird colors and some of the weird like stuff that they did in that was a tribute to Jack Kirby who drew that. They said this, they did nothing to do that. The costumes sucked, right? They were pretty bad. Costumes were dumb. And they didn't do anything to tribute, like Jack Kirby, like basically drew and colored in four colors. And they, they didn't do any of that. And I, I did another, if you look, one of my Eternals, like annoying videos about like why I'm irritated about them is up here as a comic book guy, right? Up here. We're not, not here. linking it. Not linking it. I was just going to say it's like up here. Go search. For sure. It. So anyway, um, I just felt like they did a dessert, like they should have gone that direction. They did not. And then it was just kind of filmed like blah. Like a lot of muted colors and like bluff. That's what I'm hearing. It was bad. It was bad. It was boring. So don't go see it. Don't. Not a recommendation. Watch it for free, maybe if you're bored. 